Welcome to Atheist Talk for December. My name is Mike Hobrick, and I'm here with two of my fellow Minnesota atheists to talk about the new aspects of social networking through the Internet. I'd like to let the other two members of the panel introduce yourselves. I'm Stephanie Zavan. Um, I am also a member of Minnesota Atheists. I blog at Almost Diamonds, and I am the editor of a group blog that I share with Mike and Greg called Quiche Moraine. Well, I'm Greg Layden. I'm a biological anthropologist and independent scholar, and I blog at scienceblogs.com and Quiche Moraine, and I guess I'm a professional science blogger. Cool. Um, and um, I'm a member of the Minnesota Atheists, and I blog at uh, Tangled Up and Blue Guy. And along with Stephanie, I was a host of the Atheist Talk radio show, and Greg was a frequent uh, guest. Um, the topic that we brought uh, with us tonight is about social media, which include a growing collection of software services through which people share information and was now approaching true real-time communication. Events happened, and they are shared as soon as they happen across the world through such services as live blogging and Twitter. Blogging creates a space for diverse voices and viewpoints that tra traditional media has never really provided. Networking services, including MySpace, uh, Facebook, and um, other things that were just basically intended at one time just for existing friends to keep up with each other, now provide groups to update their members on activities, events, causes, and issues. And we're not going to list all the services which people use, but we want to discuss ways in which atheists and skeptics have been able to use social networking to gather, to find each other, to respond to conflagrations and to create them on our own if we need to. We might even talk about our own blogs and what we have done with them. And Stephanie, do you want to tell us? Well, actually, I wanted to start with our blogs because that's really how the three of us met. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's kind of important. I met, um, well, both of you really because of Greg's blog. Um, because Greg was on Science Blogs, which was a, a broad network of Science Blogs that I had already been following, and um, actually I think it started with some of your Christmas posts on atheism, was when I noticed the blog. The War on Christmas. War on Christmas. Yep. We all met in the trenches in the War on Christmas. <laughs> yes. And yeah. Yeah. you linked to Mike's blog frequently, mm -hmm. um, which was how I started reading that, and then we all became Facebook friends and it went from there. Yeah. Okay. It kind of started with the whiny post that I had about not enough people celebrating my birthday. <laughs> and then guy Greg kind of picked up on that before he moved over to Science Blogs, and then PZ picked up on it, PZ Myers of uh, Ferengula, and then kind of spread, and then um, things kind of started going from there pretty quickly, I think. It was a kind of amazing thing. Uh, I, think, I think it's probably worth mentioning just for, for context that we're talking about blogs here. Right. And, you know, I personally, I know you two guys read blogs, <clears throat> and I know personally almost no one else who does. All the people that I know who read blogs are people that I've only met because I blog. And no one in my family, no one, or very few of my friends actually read them. It's very worth, it's worth noting that there's a, there, there are two kinds of people in this world. People who read blogs, people who don't really find it interesting. Mm -hmm. But there's a, a growing number of people that read blogs. And it is a place where communication actually happens. And you, we, we, a breakthrough happened during the last election or the primaries when, when the news started talking about the liberal blogosphere. The liberal blogosphere began to control certain political outcomes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're the liberal blogosphere, we're a little tiny, tiny piece of it in some way. Although making generalizations about who blogs and who doesn't is a little premature because, for example, my mother is getting a blog for Christmas. My brother <laughs> is helping her set it up. Wow. Um, so we should probably talk about some of the things that we do on our blogs and, mm -hmm. and uh, specifically with regards to atheism. You were talking about your War on Christmas post. Yeah, and this actually came, the, the War on Christmas thing really surrounds a Richard Dawkins issue, where um, Dawkins, last year, the year before, whenever it was, I think two years ago, um, was caught um, singing Christmas carols. <laughs> and this was a, a major problem, a major interesting, it was a coup, I think, that Christian uh, commenters about that. It were just you know, apoplectic about the fact that an atheist would be singing Christmas carols, and how does that work? And a few people responded to that, and I wrote a post that I republished this year, and it's actually one of my more read ones about our Christmas, about my, my uh, I have a very small family, and but my, my wife's family is large, is huge. And when right. we go to any kind of event, there may be pray, praying at such an event because a lot of people are Christians. They're Christian and Jewish intermixed family and atheists. And when the praying happens, you know, the atheists kind of identify each other because we're the ones that aren't praying. <laughs> <laughs> but just talking about that issue of like, you know, Christmas is a cultural phenomenon. It's not a religious phenomenon. Some people partake in it as a religious phenomenon. Within my wife's family, in fact, there are people who are very religious who don't go to the Easter and Christmas celebrations that other people have because they're too secular. 
they're mm -hmm. going to something that they do with their church. Okay, and and this was just a, so the whole point is uh, to address the realities of our culture and our society from an atheist perspective. Dawkins did that, and that's what this post was about. And the war on Christmas is really just something we made up to annoy people who who are afraid of a war on Christmas. Right. That's all it is. It's not right. really a war on Christmas. It's it's sort of a. Uh, it's like when I was a kid, my, one of my siblings would every night hide in the closet and after I went to sleep would come out and scare me. <laughs> it was that, and that's what we're doing, mm -hmm. really. It's just that we're just really having fun with it. Mm -hmm. And so I saw that on your blog, and then on Mike's blog it's a little bit different because you do a lot more responding to Christian arguments. Yeah, I've, um, because I've got... Um, got a lot of um, friends that are Christian that I've heard a lot of their arguments and uh, sincerely trying to understand what they are and I like to think of my blog in a way as of kind of, th of thinking out loud or learning out loud where I'll try to piece things together examine the arguments and see if they make sense to me and see if I can attack them in a way that might have them have, have even Christians look at their own arguments from a different perspective so with my blog, I try to I try to kind of mix uh, the, my approach either between ridicule or self-examination stuff like that. But I also try to mix in a lot of other interesting things that I find too. So I don't kind of stick to a topic. Hopefully, to try to bring people in that might be interested in one thing and then find the atheism that's on there. So it doesn't feel like it's a one-dimensional type of site. Well, I'm kind of focusing on you guys right now because. It was probably a year and a half into blogging before I even mentioned atheism on my blog. Mm -hmm. I've been an atheist the entire time. I've, I all but grew up atheist, but it wasn't ever really something I addressed. And I certainly didn't do much of the like pointing at political issues like you do. Just to, you should tell us what your blog is about. Almost time is. You know, if I knew what my blog was about... <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell, I'll tell you, her blog, she's a writer and it's a writer's blog, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I, I pretty much write about whatever, whatever strikes my fancy at any given time. Um, I've published fiction on there, short fiction. I've, um, you know, talked about me. I've, I've talked about um, weird little things that I've observed. I've ranted and raved at people on the, you know, I walk to work, so I'm talking about drivers I run into on the street, sometimes literally. Um, so it's, it's really just whatever I feel like writing about. 